Hey guys, this is uh, Robbie G. I thought um, I'd sort of share what I've done with uh, my three-wheeler golf cart. It uh, died many, many, many years ago and it's been resurrected and I thought I'd share what I've done. So um, some of you might have a similar uh, model here. I've still got the instructions. So as you can see, this thing does 20 k's an hour. It's uh, reasonably quick for a golf cart. Uh, it had a 750 watt motor that I destroyed over time. Um, so I replaced it with the 1000 watt motor. So luckily it worked fine with the uh, chain setup. I ordered exactly what I needed, which was uh, a T8F chain uh well, that's what it is so i've got made sure this, the uh drive sprocket was uh the exact size so it all fit in together nicely straight off the cuff um had to replace the control box which i did there's still a bit of wiring to do and of course it needs the body put back on it but she's um she's running and running very very fast so it originally has this cog, and it's a 44 tooth uh, rear sprocket. And with the setup that I've got now, it's, this is a 48 volt system. I said 1000 watt uh, motor, and uh, the teeth on the motor, yeah, it's 11, 11 tooth, which is uh, what it comes with. I uh, bought it on eBay. Yeah, it came with a lot of good stuff. Uh, handle grips, actual grips, um, another tra chain, and um, also another uh, control box, which I've got up there. So, the only problem is, um, it's not that good for golf. It doesn't like hills because our sprocket's 44 tooth, so I'm going to change that to a 64 tooth and put on a bigger chain, uh, which I think I'll need, and uh, then it should um, drop it down to about 25 kilometres an hour, I'm expecting at the moment. The top speed, uh, especially down a hill, is um, 40 kilometres to an hour, so I think that's a bit quick for what we want. Uh, on the golf course. So anyway, replaced it. You used to have the 750 watt motor, which had a, um, a gearbox on it, which I believe sort of takes away a fair bit of power of it anyway. But with this, these new motors hooked straight up, uh, run great, plenty of power, and uh, good to go. All right, well, I might as well show you how, how she runs. Um, She's all set up, ready to go, put on blocks, but I will take you for a, a bit of a spin on it, a uh, simulated spin soon. So, we'll uh, give it a bit. Just give a full ball. So, uh, yeah, she goes pretty quick with that 44 tooth. Jeez, it's a crappy day out there, it really is. What do you expect from Melbourne? Anyway, I took it for a spin earlier, uh, so I'll uh, put that on.
any of you guys are interested in uh, doing something the same or similar, uh, got a listing here. Uh, it was um, on eBay, the bloke's just in Regents Park, uh, New South Wales. Uh, yeah, real happy with the products. You get the, the motor uh, along the chain, um, control box, the uh, throttle and handle, or the handle grip for the other side. So yeah, I was pretty happy with that. So if you're interested, it, uh, I think I'll call Discount Goods Plaza on eBay. But what would be uh, really cool though, is to see if, uh, or how this would run if uh, we introduce a torque converter that they use on the, the little mini bikes. Um, that, that would be interesting. I think it's got enough RPM to make it work, but hopefully one day, if I get the, the funds and the time, I'll, uh, I'll give that a go. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this and uh, adios, take it easy.